Greetings, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries, in John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This Bible study is going to be called God Laugh. God Laughs. All right, let's go to the book of Psalms. And we're going to read the entire chapter 2. Verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? And boy, they do, don't they? And the people imagine a vain thing. Now, what's vain? Worthless. So why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Oh yeah, they don't want God's cords, you know, the commandments. So they say, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Did you know that God's, God laughs? He's going to laugh. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. God's going to vex them in his sore displeasure. Ooh. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Now, who's that talking about? Well, hopefully you're going to say Jesus, who is the Christ. Verse 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Isn't that funny? It, isn't that what um, all the non-whites complain about the, the white race, that we went out and we colonized the earth, the Christians? We went out and colonized the earth. We built cities where there was nothing but wilderness. We planted farms where there was nothing but rocks. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Here it is, God makes a promise, and it was fulfilled by the white Christians. And yet all the non-whites complain that we're doing the very thing that God promised Verse 9, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Isn't that what the um, European colonizers did to the earth? Oh, yeah. Verse 10, Be wise now, therefore, O ye, o ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. A little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. 
Remember the woman that fell at Jesus' feet and she washed his feet with the tears in her eyes and wiped them with her, the hair on her head and he, she kissed his feet. All right, get out your King James Bible, turn to Luke chapter 7, and we're going to start at verse 36. Now, if you don't know it, a Pharisee is a Jew. They were a one of the strict sects, or I should say, like denomination, S-E-C-T, of the Jews. So let's read Luke 7, starting verse 36. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. Uh, you know, so Jesus was invited to eat with this Pharisee. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. M-E-A-T. Verse 37. And behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner. Now, I'll guarantee you this woman was probably 100 times or more a sinner than this Pharisee. Because the Pharisees were very strict on keeping the laws. Not always God's laws, but they were very strict when it came to keeping laws. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him weeping and began to wash his feet with tears and did wipe them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Now, when the Pharisee, which had bidden him, saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. Now, if you don't know it, the word rabbi means master. The King James translators would take the same word. Sometimes they would translate it master. Other times they would translate it as rabbi. Do I think this is an error, mistranslation? No, absolutely not. So, you know, your rabbi was to be your spiritual master. So, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he said, saith, Master, say on. So here it is. Jesus is going to give him a little story. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. Now, if you don't know it, a pence back in this day and age was the average daily wage of a unskilled laborer. So 500 pence is like two years worth of salary. And the other 50, I mean, you know, that's what, like two months, sa you know, two months salary. You know, it depends on if you work six days a week and then take the Sabbath off, right? So here it is. One guy owes for two months. The other guy owes for two years. So, there was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore... Which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, 
I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, Her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. Wow. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he, Jesus, and he said to the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace. All right, well, this is the end of part one of God Laughed. I guess I'm going to make a series out of this because I don't like making these long, long studies anymore. I'm going to break them up into smaller units, I guess you could say. So all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.